Good morning y'all and happy Friday. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Sonali and today we have a super exciting day. I'm just probably going to vlog for the next couple of days or maybe just like tomorrow, we'll see. But we're going on a brand trip in our own city, which now that I'm saying that, it makes it a little less exciting because I don't get to travel. But honestly, I'm okay with that because I feel like I've been traveling a lot and I kind of miss home. So I was back in Georgia for like a week. I was raised in the suburbs of Atlanta. So I went back because my boyfriend's pet sitting my dad's pets currently. So he's still back in Georgia, but I wanted to come back for this event and then my friend's birthday. And then I'll go back to Georgia for another week. And then we'll come here for like a couple days and then we'll go to Chicago for a family reunion. So lots of summer travel coming up. Very grateful for it because I get to see family and obviously be in really cool places. Um, but I have this sleepy tie thing on my head. I got this one on Amazon and apparently it's supposed to like keep your blowout really nice and voluminous overnight. So it's kind of like heatless curls, but just not curls. It's just like heatless volume. So we're about to take this out. I want to film a TikTok while I do it. But yeah, I'm very excited to see because um, I feel like all the results that I've seen online are like insane volume. I do want to get a quick workout in. The event starts at one and I don't even think I told you guys what the event was for. Um, but it is with Amazon and I literally, it's crazy how many trips I've gone on with Amazon this year, like even in the past like four months. Um, but I'm so freaking excited because they're showing us a lot of products that are going to be on deal for Prime Day. And Prime Day is July 11th and 12th, I believe. So mark it on your calendar because like so many things that I already post about are going to be on Prime Day. I already saw the list and it's confidential so we're not allowed to share it until it goes live, I think, or maybe like a couple days before. I'm not really sure. I have to ask them today. As always, I feel like whenever you go to these like brand events, you don't really know who's going because you can't just like ask for the guest list unless it's like someone you know that's you know working for the event but I found out that a couple of my friends are actually going to the event so at least I won't be alone and I feel like it's a little less intimidating since like I'm in my own city it's not like I'm traveling to a whole different place like New York I feel like that was kind of overwhelming for me I'm not gonna lie like the last time I was there I think I was there for like a couple days and I was just like I just don't know if New York is for me and it would totally be different if I lived there but even just like visiting I just get so overwhelmed because I'm so used to um Austin and it being a smaller city and even when I go back to Atlanta and I drive on the highway or just like through the city I used to be used to it because like that's where I was raised and that's like pretty much all I knew but now when I go back I am like holding on to the steering wheel so tight because I'm so scared of driving on those highways because like number one they have like a lot of potholes and i've actually got a flat tire on the hell mill road pothole and then just driving on you know roads that i don't really drive on very often um but now i'm so used to the roads in austin which i remember when i first moved here i was like terrified of the one ways downtown because i think i turned down a one way the wrong way luckily it was like very late at night so there was no one on the road but yeah that was that was terrifying okay i'm gonna take this out um squeeze a little workout in i think the dinner is tonight and i've already seen people wearing like really nice dresses and they didn't really give us a dress code so we're just gonna have to pull something out i think i do have a dress that i haven't worn yet that's super cute so i just need to try it on and see if it fits but basically there was like four days of this whole amazon event and they flew out different groups for each day so i think my group is the last to go and i'm so curious to see if it's just like all austin people or just like all texas people because the people that i know that are going are all in austin and there's one dallas girl so i'm like I wonder if they like save that for last. I'm very curious. Um, but the girls that I know that have already went like the other days, I feel like they didn't post anything on social media and I just like want to see what's going on and like what I should bring, what I should wear, you know, but they really aren't posting anything and I know that you can't like show the products and the deals, but like they haven't even posted the dinner and I'm like, I want to see what everyone's wearing. So um, kind of going into it a little bit blind. It's still going to be super fun. We're staying at um, Hotel Magdalena, which is like behind Music Lane on South Congress. So like insane location. I went to their restaurant summer house for brunch and apps, like a dinner time thing. 
and it was so good so I'm hoping that the dinner is like catered by them. This is what it looks like straight out of the donut thing. It's not good, it's not bad though. And I honestly really wish I had like heatless hairstyles back in the day of like going to high school and going to middle school because I would literally straighten my hair, curl my hair every single day and get up so early to do it. But if I had like these heatless hairstyles, it would be like so easy. I mean, I guess we had like braiding, but that would like crimp your hair and I didn't like that look. I definitely want to try it again. And just like maybe try to wrap it a different way. I need to look up a tutorial if there's like a certain way to wrap it. I'm actually throwing my hair up in a ponytail because I'm about to go to the gym. I have to empty out my camera roll. Literally every time in the past like week that I've tried to take photos, it's given me like the, you know, storage notification. So I really have to clean out my camera roll so that I can take so much content because um, I won't be able to post any of the deals, like I said. So... I want to have like a lot of like stock footage when the sale goes live. It is 12.10 and I'm so proud of myself because I really didn't think I would make it. I told my friends I would meet them at the hotel at like 12.30 so I think this is the perfect time to leave. And this is the outfit of the day. I just like wasn't really sure about the belt but I FaceTime Ryan and I trust his opinion and he said it looked really good so we're going with it. This is the outfit. We have my Saison sandals that kind of like matches the belt's vibe stradivarius denim skirt which i'm obsessed with just like the fit of it is just like perfect for me my bodysuits amazon here's what the top looks like and then sunglasses are amazon we're headed to hotel magdalena we're staying overnight but i'm just like not ready for this heat because i'm already sweating in my freaking apartment with ac and i think like a good bit of it is going to be outdoors and prayers Just pulled up to the hotel, we checked in. I'm Hi. so happy that Rhea's here. <laughs> I've actually been meaning to reach out to you, but I like life's been so I, fucking busy, so this is perfect. No, I get it. <laughs> oh gosh. This is Hotel Magdalena. It's right on South Congress Music Lane. Very cute. This bed looks so big and comfy. And little bathroom. I literally brought my swimsuit so we could swim and then they were like, oh, it's kind of like clothes, but I don't think they'll mind if you swim. And I'm like, what the frick? I'm definitely taking advantage of that. We're in the room. I got a huge goodie bag, which we'll have to open later. But first order of business is eating because I, I haven't really eaten anything today. So I got a little sandwich. That was so smart of them. They had like all these little prepackaged meals for us. It was literally perfect. Just a quick little bite. And then I have a Topo Chico, which I did not think, oh yes. They have a bottle opener. I was like, I didn't think this through. <laughs> Cheers to my third brand trip with Amazon. And my third brand trip in general. I think I've only been on brand trips with Amazon. So very excited about this one. Um, I just saw my friend Rhea, like you guys saw. And then my friend Alyssa just got here. Newman's going to be here. And I'm like, just I just found out like all these people are going to be here like literally today or yesterday. Um, but I'm very happy that I'll have some people that I know. Oh my gosh, this just looks so good. 
I'm definitely bringing my claw clip because that's necessary. <laughs> and I just did like a little refresh on my makeup and put some lip stuff on. And I think I'm ready to go. I'm a little bit nervous, guys. I don't know if I said this already, but I think it's just like all Texas people for this last group. So hopefully I'll get to meet some new Texas creators. We're about to go in the deals house, which unfortunately I cannot vlog in there because I want to post this video before Prime Day, of course. <laughs> so I cannot vlog in there, but I'm excited to meet everyone. Look at this sign. Prime Day. We are heading inside the Amazon Beauty Glam Studio. We have like appointments to film content. So we're trying to see if we can do it earlier so we can go swimming maybe. Yes, it is hot. <laughs> yeah. And we want to take advantage of the pool. Yes. Look at all this <gasps> product. Wow. <laughs> Look at how much we're getting. So cool. Because it's like so good it's gonna fall out. I'm with Natasha and she's getting me prepped for my voiceover and like B-roll for my Amazon storefront. I guess I'll just start. I'm always on camera and it makes the biggest difference when my hands and cuticles are moisturized. At this point, we're just embracing the sweat, you know? We just do that here in Texas. But I am going to change into my swimsuit and go swimming. I'm so happy I brought my swimsuit. I'm probably gonna take off my makeup because I don't want it to like, you know, give me the raccoon eyes. Also, basically we had to shoot like one piece of shoppable content in the studio, which was actually really cool. And they were so efficient about everything, which I really appreciated, um, cause they just had us like voice it over and then just do B-roll shots, which takes a lot less time than actually talking about the product while you're like demoing it. Cause I stutter a lot. And I feel like I've told you guys this many times, but like, I don't think you guys understand how bad I stutter. Like I actually cut out a lot of stuff on, in like my videos and TikToks and everything like where I have to talk. So that was really, really nice and I got it done and I was able to get in earlier because my appointment was at 4.15, but I got it done at like 3.30. So now I can go swim. And the best part about it is that they have a glam studio downstairs. You guys saw it. They said that they could do like full glam and like they would do my hair. And so I'm like taking full advantage. And so I'm just gonna shower really quickly. Hopefully they have a blow dryer. Hmm, that might be... Wait, they literally gifted us like the Revlon one step So I might just use that as my blow dryer and then they can do my hair So that is literally perfect and I get to go swimming and you guys know I freaking love swimming I'm very excited for this like we're at a hotel. I gotta take advantage of using their nice ass pool We're wearing this swim skirt and I just need to put on some sunscreen. I just took off my makeup and I've been using the sunscreen since we went to the beach and I actually really like it like it blends in pretty freaking good for good sunscreen. I'm with Pia, we're Hi. at the pool, and like there's two other people here, but other than that, it's like literally ours. Yeah, it's so hot, y'all. It's so hot. <laughs> and I don't know why We literally here. live here. Like, imagine the girls that flew in from other places, like from no, the north. No, they were asking, like, oh, so you're, you're from here, so you're used to the heat. I'm like, mm, no, we don't leave no, our houses. No. <laughs> we I don't do this. Just, this is the most I've spent outside, honestly. I'm like, oh, oh my God, God, yeah. I mean, yeah, I think I was out of town like ever since it got like this hot. Yeah. Like, yeah, that pool looks real nice and it's shaded, which is nice. Yeah, so had 10 minutes to fully blow out my hair 
Japan. Now we're headed to the... 10 minutes? I think it was only 10 minutes, yeah. Um, but now we're going back to the glam studio because it's our appointment time. So I think I'm doing hair first. And she's gonna be doing my makeup. I told her she's a full canvas on me today. Because I feel like everyone else is doing like touch-ups, right? Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hair and makeup is done. I added yes, I added lashes, and I think it like really pulls the look together. Oh, so good! But got our dresses on. Let's do an outfit of the day. Outfit dress is from Revolve, the brand LPA. Shoes are Steve Madden. Bag is Steve Madden. Makeup and hair Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> Actually, Urban Decay. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it? yeah. It was, yeah. Urban Decay, y'all. Urban Decay. <laughs> Can you do mine? Yes, of course. The dress is Petal and Puff. I'm finally getting a place to wear it, so this is perfect. Um, shoes are Dolce Vita. Bag is Cezanne. Cute. Amazon Goriana. Period. <laughs> Guys, look at this freaking setup. They always do these like amazing dinner scapes. And now I gotta find my name. We're trying to get professional photographers because in LA, the photos turned out so freaking good and I regretted not getting enough photos. Like, we literally just got one. <laughs> We're getting Cheers. 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 I got lucky. Look at my seatmate. And we have Kenzie's my corner. I'm excited to eat. Dinner. Avoid that. I'm like not like I'm so impressed by you. Like, wow. There was no uh, sparkler related fire incidents just then, uh, but we wanted to uh, light the sparklers in celebration of Prime Day coming up in a few weeks. Uh, <laughs> Good morning guys, it is Saturday. It is day two of the Amazon Prime event. Their activities are actually only in the morning, so I think we get to go home at like 11.30. I woke up this morning and I was like, oh my God, I guess it's so early, like my alarms haven't been off yet. And the sun was like fully out. But I like checked my phone and it wasn't turning on. And it's still not turning on. It's been like maybe like 40 minutes. And I got ready so fast because I was planning on waking up even earlier so that I could have time to get ready. Um, but I literally didn't know how to like tell the time in this room um, But I turned on the TV and of course it gave me the time. So it's 842 checkouts at 9. I'm like all packed up I don't know how I pulled it off, but I did and my phone is still not turning on and I'm freaking out a little bit I'm trying to stay calm um, More so for the fact that like all the content from yesterday is on my phone I'm just really hoping that that my automatic backups are on because I think they usually are and it'll back up overnight. I'm just like praying it's on because I don't know what the fuck is going on. And I've tried like holding it for 10 seconds, watch it come on right now. I would not mind that. <laughs> but I've tried everything and I don't know what happened. Like I was on my phone last night just scrolling Instagram like at midnight because we got back so late from um, So House. But It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's annoying though because I literally have an appointment for the Genius Bar for tomorrow because I was gonna take my laptop to get serviced. It's not broken or anything, but well, technically the battery is like shit and it does not hold a charge, but like I can at least use it with the charger on it. Um, yeah, so that's fun stuff. And I like don't even know if my t friends are texting me that are here. They know like my room number, so if I like actually slept in that late, maybe they would come here, but oh guys, why, why now? Why now? Like I had such good photos on that phone, but I won't talk like that because I'm gonna talk like, oh, they're gonna be in the iCloud, you know? But I don't really use iCloud. I only use like backups, so yeah. But I'm also wondering if my iPhone is out of warranty. Um. I can't even remember the last time I like got, well, it's the iPhone 14, so when was that? I don't even know. 
I hate having like technical difficulties and obviously it's my phone so it's not like I can really like wait a day for tomorrow to take it in. So I'll definitely be going there right after this. Update, I came down and it was perfect timing because the people that were like checking out were here and it's been 15 minutes and my friend just got here <laughs> to check out. So people are finally starting to check out and my phone is still not working. But I have like a little bit of hope in me. So hopefully, hopefully it turns on. I'm just like not really sure what to do. The group is up. Good morning. <laughs> Bright and early. Yes, we're walking to Soho House. Rise and shine. And they're doing the brunch there. And the movie screening or TV shows. Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> in a sauna. But I also, like, I'm wondering if we're, like, allowed to film. We probably will. Inside? Yeah, maybe just not. Maybe when we oh, yeah, get yeah, to yeah. the brunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to like, super early. Okay, guys, it's screening time. And we're seeing the first episode of this. I'm so excited. This is insane. Hey, vlog. I am back home and good news. I drove all the way out to Barton Mall there and went into the Apple store and the guy was like, oh, did you try like hard resetting it? Let's try that first so then we can make you an appointment. And already I was kind of like, just like, oh, I'm going to be here all freaking day waiting for my appointment. Um, and I was like, yeah, I tried everything. I don't know. It's just like weird. It just like glitched. And he was like, yeah, this actually happened to me like a month ago, but luckily mine came on. So we'll just see if it does, if I try to do this and it turned on. And apparently I don't know what a hard reset is. Cause that's not what I was doing. I thought a hard reset was you hold the up volume and the power button, just like hold it. But it is actually, you press the up volume, down volume, and then hold the power button. And that is a hard reset. And then I was thinking like, oh my God, why did I not ask someone like that was with me to just like try to Google, you know, what can I do to like revive my phone? Cause that would have saved me a trip. But honestly, I'm just so freaking happy that I didn't lose any pictures or videos. I have it all on my phone and I, also was thinking like on the way over there, I was like, okay, like best case scenario, if the phone doesn't come on, is that they're just like, oh, it's, you know, our bad, like manufacturer's error. Let's just give you a new phone. And I totally get that this is like the stupidest problem, but just like resetting your phone and like restoring everything back on your phone and downloading all your apps back, even if you like had it backed up, like takes forever. And also I was just worried about losing like TikTok drafts and, and all my projects in CapCut, I was literally thinking like, oh my God, do I have like brand deals coming up that I like am losing the videos from? Like I was just r like running through my mind. And maybe this is a sign that like, I've heard people get like work phones and separate it from their personal. But honestly, if I'm at a work event like this, I'm not gonna have two phones and like carry around two phones. You know what I mean? I am just so, so happy that that man graced my phone with his magical hands and turned my phone back on. So I think today I literally was like wanting to go to the pool at the hotel after, you know, the premiere and everything. And by the way, it was so cute. I don't think like a lot of people actually had watched season one. So a lot of my friends were like, that, it's just so cringy. Like, I don't think I can get into it, but I'm like, I totally can like see that from like an outsider's perspective, but you got to kind of watch season one to like understand the cringiness, even just her name being belly, like obviously sounds so cringy and her friend taylor is very cringy like in season one and doesn't really change in season two so i get it but my favorite thing is watching like movies and shows about teenage love like never have i ever was such a good show and obviously that was like the last season i know a lot of people are like oh maybe they'll do like a spin-off of like her going to college which would be so fun kind of hoping for that but i'm excited for all of these new like summer shows coming out i am excited to like you know binge all of the other episodes and i'm really hoping that they like put it all out at once because i'm currently watching cruel summer which if you haven't seen that and you like like a thriller show i definitely recommend it 
Um, you don't have to watch season one to know what's happening in season two. It's like totally different storylines, which is kind of cool, but season one was really, really good. But it's also like a little uh, dark, so just be aware of that. But it is a good thriller show. Um, but I'm currently watching that with Ryan and we have to wait for every Tuesday to come by so that they'll give us a new episode. And Ryan joked about like, since he's home right now, he's like, oh, I'm gonna watch Cruel Summer without you. Since you saw the first episode of The Summer I Turned Pretty, I was like, you better freaking not. Like, you will be so evil if you do that because it's our show. I can't believe it's like only 1 p.m. though. Like, I feel like it should feel a lot later because I already watched like a premiere. I had like brunch, went to the Apple store today. I guess that doesn't really sound like that much, but I felt like I lived like a whole day. I think I was just like in panic mode a little bit of it. And so that just made me feel really weird. Like today doesn't really feel real, if that makes sense. And I feel like waking up like not in your own bed, not in your own apartment does kind of give you like that disassociating feeling. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I'm just in my butt on the couch. I've been dreaming about this since last night and maybe like binge some YouTube or Netflix. I wonder if I should start a new show. I haven't finished selling Sunset, so I might do that. Got myself a liquid IV because I feel very dehydrated.